What is up guys, gals, and all you awesome, awesome minions and gamers of different shapes and sizes. Comment section below, let me know what are you, big, small, rectangular, I, <laughs> I don't know, everyone does come in different shapes and sizes, so you don't know how you might have been born. <laughs> I was born with a triangular head, in case you didn't, I'm, I'm lying, you've, you've seen my head. It's more oval, it's, it's more, not, not like a pear, but I'd kind of say like a peanut, it's kind of like a peanut shape. <laughs> But anyway, it's me, Josh, bringing you some of The Last of Us Remastered multiplayer. I've been playing some of The Last of Us Remastered all the way through the campaign, and obviously you get a little bit of side distracted with the multiplayer. And the multiplayer is very good. The multiplayer is very fun. I remember when I used to play this game on the PlayStation 3. You must remember that when I used to show you matches from time to time. And I had a really good time playing it. I was really good at it too. And so this is just one of my random matches, me just kind of like getting back into it, having some fun. I don't know if I'll record many of these because I find The Last of Us Remastered multiplayer to be rather frustrating and I'll probably well I will I'll explain that but I might not show more of the multiplayer because I'm just trying to get the trophies for it really but this match just shows kind of it was kind of like me reliving the glory days of whooping some serious butt cheeks at the last of us multiplayer now one thing to know is that this is the remastered version and the visuals kind of just look like the PlayStation 3 version and when I was playing I'm going to shoot this guy casually in the butthole too this is something I have like a little bit of an issue with with myself is that I seem to aim for the lower half of bodies a lot of people are really good at aiming at heads I for some reason aim at butts I aim at butts I aim at groins and I aim at feet don't know why maybe I really I maybe have addiction to tootsies or something Come I'm not me. too sure <laughs> if it's going to tickle your feet with bullets but I'm trying to improve I'm trying to get better at that because I always aim for the abdomen and stuff I don't know why I'm just so unusual when it comes to that kind of thing but you may notice that this is the remastered version and it doesn't actually look that remastered in a sense now we're seeing a lot of remastered games coming out and some of them are iggledy piggledy you know so like a remastered version that I really really like is Darksiders 2 which I'm still playing at the moment it's a, such a long game I do not know why this guy did not kill me he was kind of like he must have like aimed at me and then he kind of went buzz eyed and went Gah! and just like looked into the sky <laughs> it was like what's happening it obviously wasn't my time yet i was not ready for, for valhalla got a guy here going for a head that was a headshot that was easily a headshot right for some reason the cap protected his noggin i'm not too sure why but he's gonna try and do a over the cover shot there able to get a headshot on him and down his ass not killed him though he's still in there i believe but with the visual quality of these remasters, it's something that we have to kind of be very cautious about. And it's something that I've ended up being very, very cautious about when it comes to remasters because we're seeing so many of them. Darksiders 2 is one that I would say is kind of like 50-50 on the level of it looks really good on consoles now. And like on next generation consoles been 1080p and 60 frames per second and all that kind of thing. But also because they kind of like went in there and redid some of the visual like textures and models and stuff like that. Added in all the DLC and things which is cool you'll generally find that in remasters that will put all the DLC from like the original versions into that so you don't have to like buy everything again so it's all one nice complete package for the base price and it's, it's that thing where you want to try and make sure you get those kind of things like I got this game in the sale like I think it was last week it might actually still be out on the PlayStation Network you can actually buy this for £11 which is really awesome because the Last of Us campaign is fantastic and the cool thing too is that you do actually get the grounded mode DLC which is basically the super hard difficulty where it kind of like makes it true survivor mode which I'm really excited to play I'll probably do a live stream of that because I really want to see what it's like to kind of like play the game with barely any bullets I've been finding when playing the normal difficulty that I'm just kind of like I mean, I'm, just, I'm just hoarding. I find that a lot when I'm playing the last You may remember that when I did my actual proper playthrough of the original on PlayStation 3. I hoarded the shizzle out of stuff. I like how that guy was kind of like in that truck. And he was kind of just casually aiming there like, please don't see me, please don't see me, please don't see me. And I just kind of like slowly turned my head and saw him and pulled up my gun. We have this like last stand. <laughs> and now this guy's patting me on the butt cheeks because always he's stacking stuff. It's kind of like Ark. I'm not too sure if he's kind of like just putting stuff in my butthole for safe keepings. Maybe it's really warm up there. I'm not too sure. Maybe my multiplayer character has some right, form of relationship with him. His multiplayer character I am playing as a female antagonist because remember we are playing as the hunters so when it comes to the multiplayer of the last of us you may remember that it's actually really good it's actually quite in depth they ended up doing this like really clever thing in it where you basically have your main menu and you can either pick to do either the hunter faction or the firefly faction and then what you're able to do within that is you get your own survivors you can connect this to facebook you have your facebook friends as the little names of the little petri dish survivors that you get and when you're playing this game you may notice on the bottom left you have this little blue kind of like counter mine says 30 out of 53 now those are rations for my 
have survivors. So what you're doing is you're playing the matches to feed your survivors and gain even more survivors. And it's kind of like your own little personal journey of accumulating experience and weapons through doing that. Look at that headshot. That was really nice. <laughs> so you may notice that I am using the bolt action sniper rifle. Is it just called a bolt action rifle? I'm not too sure. I found that when I was playing this game back in the day, it was really difficult to find a gun I was really good at. And it's only recently that, that I've ended up dead. like finding that again because obviously with The Last of Us, they ended up bringing out loads of brand new content for the multiplayer. It was so surprising that they actually dedicated more time into the multiplayer content than they did the single player. You've got loads of masks you can buy, you've got loads of like dying. weapons that you can get for your loadouts and stuff. The cool thing is that you can actually level up and get actually a lot of these weapons for yourself and kind of not have to buy them but a lot of people do this is the sneaky thing and it's a kind of like a major complaint i have with the last of us multiplayer is that it's very pay to win i found it to be incredibly pay to win it's very balanced but it's so pay to win i think it's like like a dollar for a dollar you can get some of the like really high powered weapons in this game like what i'm trying to do is play it by the rules something that i always do when it comes to multiplayer games is i generally don't buy the dlc for it if it comes to like quick unlocks weapons and stuff i will play the game until i unlock them but what they've ended up doing in the Last of Us multiplayer is bringing out a few little quick loadouts where you can try out the DLC weapons. Only some of them, though. But they're kind of locked in their own specific loadouts for different abilities and things. But then if you want that specific weapon to use in your own custom loadout, you have to buy it for a dollar. And that's actually really cheap. But you don't really, like me personally, in the ethic of it, don't want to spend 79p or a dollar, I guess, on a gun. You know, when I've got all these other guns that I can use, but then again, it's such a powerful gun that you can just use it to steamroll. And I found this so, so much. Like, I was really lucky in this match where everybody was using the base weapons in the remastered version without having to pay anything. So I'm actually using the El Diablo revolver, which is so powerful, but so, so cool. I suck at hand cannons. I'm more of kind of like a assault rifle kind of person. I'm a spray and pray. I'm your kind of Scarface, you know, Al Pacino kind, like, say hello to my little friend kind of dude. Don't know why. I went Spanish there, but I did. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm more of like that kind of assault rifle kind of person. I'm really good at suppressive firing things, and in this one, in The Last of Us, it's kind of made me go out of my comfort zone of being a sniper. I did so well in this match. I did not think I was going to do that, and I was just whooping. I was just seriously whooping with that sniper. I'm like, look at this. That was a headshot. That was a freaking headshot. <laughs> I'm just going to end this guy here. Because remember, if they are downed, you do want to try and take them out so their teammates don't revive them. There's this little guy here like, oh, another headshot. That was so awesome. <laughs> I found as well that when playing the campaign that I've been doing loads of headshots too. Quite surprisingly that that's going to be really good when I do my grounded mode playthrough. I'm really excited to do that. I would love to get the Platinum for The Last of Us on PlayStation 4 because I did get all the multiplayer trophies on the PlayStation 3 version. Didn't Platinum it though because you have to play like all the difficulties and things. But I would love, 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 love to get the Platinum on the PlayStation 4 remastered version. Because The Last of Us is great and it's one of those things where by getting Platinums you kind of show your dedication to games. Don't you think? Comment section below let me know what you thought to that. Shooting them in the butthole again, or was I in the love handle? I'm not too sure. Look at this execution, though. Oh, headshot right between the temple, dotting those T's between his eyebrows. <laughs> that was just deadly. That was just evil. It was just, I'm just, I'm a horrible human being when it comes to this game. It, it's, that's the cool thing, though, is that when you're playing the multiplayer, you are pretty much playing as the bad guys. These are the, the evil scavengers that murder people throughout the campaign, and you completely forget that, that you are playing as these horrible buggers. You know, they are called the hunters. I actually get taken down here for the first time, which was kind of unusual, kind of sucky. I say unusual, like, wh what's going on here? I'm supposed to be invincible. I'm a one-man army, yo. <laughs> but I think my teammate does come along to save my ass, though. You may notice Thanks. that they're actually wearing a custom helmet. You may have noticed that a lot of the enemies that I'm fighting against are wearing custom helmets. So in a way, they're not paying for the the guns, like but they're actually getting the DLC helmets. I guess people have this addiction to buying hats. I don't really know why, though. Do you really know why people have this thing about buying hats? Customization, like the the feeling of identity, I guess, is kind of cool. I mean, are you like that? Comment section below. Have you ever bought like a DLC hat, say, for like Team Fortress or any kind of multiplayer game really like I think in Call of Duty yeah definitely Call of Duty you can get things like custom skins and stuff for your characters and things I mean only in the recent Call of Duties though it's something that they've only brought out now because of the whole multiplayer going on more of an, a hero archetype of like deathmatch and team deathmatch and stuff because obviously now you're getting these things where it's all hero based where there's all these characters with different specific abilities and things which is really awesome but in The Last of Us 
multiplayer, you're pretty much just playing like that core multiplayer experience where you have your own custom character, like good old days of Call of Duty and stuff. But as a third person survivor kind of guy, is that gonna be a headshot? I'm trying to go for a headshot with my El Diablo here, but it's, it's not working out. That, that circle was right on his head, right? Now he's gonna try and rush in here and try and stop me from running my, my teammate, but we're gonna have to go for a little bit of a one-on-one -on -one duel here. He's got some armor on too. Oh, and it seems like my El Diablo is able to take his armor off, which is really good in one shot. He's wearing a custom motorcycle helmet. Oh my goodness. He has like fire on it and everything. We're trying to dodge his bullets and stuff. Trying to distract him too, because this is the thing that if you're down, you can sometimes like either block their bullets depending on the angle that they're in or you can kind of distract them by you know making them like see this little body like moving on the floor and they'll just want to like shoot you and stuff <laughs> it's really it's really interesting but we did win that it was really really awesome really really cool had some fun i got to the top of the thing that was at 14 downs 12 executions one death minions Gamers of different shapes and sizes, let me know what you thought of in the comment section below. But it's been me, Josh, aka Noir Proxy, bringing you some of The Last of Us multiplayer remastered on the PlayStation 4. And I will see you all next time. I hope you enjoyed this random little video. I just thought I'd show you because I thought it was really cool. But either way, oh, here's a Petri dish. <laughs> all my little survivors, look. They're all, they're all killing my children. Ciao for now. <laughs>